Hey everyone, my name is Shane. I'm an instructor here at Stormwind Studios. And in this video, I'd like to take a quick look at the differences and similarities between the CompTIA A Plus 220-1001 exam and the newer 220-1101 exam. So these are both covering very similar topics. They're both primarily geared toward computer hardware and networking. And even if we look at the breakdown of those exams by the individual domains, we'll see that they are actually identical in terms of the five domains that are covered. So if we look at 1001 at a high level, well, the five domains are mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization and cloud computing, and network or hardware and network troubleshooting. And those are the exact same domains that are on the newer 1101 exam. Really the only difference is the percentage representation uh, across the two. So for instance, mobile devices on 1001 have about 14% representation. So about 14% of the questions you'll see are about mobile devices. Whereas for 1101, it's now 15%. So not really a huge change. There's plus or minus a few percentage points for the individual domains, but beyond that, they're the same domains, right? So very similar in terms of the topics covered. The main difference between the exams is that the 1101 covers newer technologies and gets rid of some less relevant technologies. Uh, for instance, when it comes to wireless networking, 1101 adds 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6, whereas 1001 didn't have that because I don't even know if it was out when it was published. So kind of newer uh, protocols and technologies are covered. Some older ones are gotten rid of as well. Again, in the realm of wireless uh, technologies, Zigbee and Z-Wave are not on the 1101 exam, whereas they used to be on the 1001 exam. So it's kind of a course correction almost between 1001 and 1101. We're, we're adding newer technologies that are more relevant, getting rid of some less relevant technologies, but the overall broad strokes are very similar. Uh, some other differences when it comes to twisted pair. For 1001, it only went up to CAT 6, whereas for 1101, it goes to CAT 6A. So just one more technology that's getting a little bit more representation out there is now covered on the exam. And the other major difference that stuck out was the addition of DDR5. So that was not out. It was not released yet when 1001 came out. It is now at least somewhat available if you have enough money. So DDR5 is now on the 1101 exam. And again, certain less relevant or more legacy technologies have been removed. So in that sphere of kind of RAM and all its related technologies, parity memory is no longer covered. It used to be the case for 1001 that you had to understand parity memory and error correcting code memory, but now it's just really error correcting code or non-error correcting code memory. You don't have to worry about parity because it hasn't really been relevant for a long time. So to sum it up, very similar exams. The topics are similar, but just updated. And if you are kind of starting out from scratch, I'd recommend just starting with 1101, right? Because it's going to cover newer technologies, the ones that you're probably going to be running into for years to come. Whereas 1001 is still most of the way there, but it's just missing some of the things that we, that we see these days. And it also has some things that you really won't see all that much. Like personally, I haven't seen Zigbee or Z-Wave, definitely not day-to-day -day in IT. You know, your experience may vary. I definitely haven't seen Parity RAM or anything like that. So it's just a little bit more relevant in my opinion and probably especially starting from scratch i would recommend absolutely uh, pursuing the 1101 exam although you'll have for a certain grace period the choice between taking either the 1001 or the 1101 exam so thank you very much kind of a quick and easy video the exams are it's definitely an evolutionary process and you can't really go wrong with either one but i would recommend the 1101 all other things being equal Thanks.